Hey, hello everyone and welcome to another stamina video and this is gonna be something super cheery something super mario karty combining the ponies with the rainbow roads and the reason why i played this one was because it's during the warm-up of my session like what i've been doing is starting with lower tier songs that came in the tournament pack and then just keep working my way up as my legs are feeling up for higher stuff basically so this day in particular i was playing the exceptionally long songs i figured that if i play one long song instead of two regular sized songs it's about the same kind of warm-up i guess you could say plus I wanted to knock these extra long songs off for a while, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll warm up using the long songs today. Just, you know, while I'm in the mood for them. <laughs> Sometimes, extra long songs I'm not up for. <laughs> so how the poop did they make this song nine minutes in length, or well, over nine minutes in length? <laughs> I mean, Rainbow Road from N64 Mario Kart not that long. Like, even if you play through the, the the track normally without doing any sort of those jumps or anything like that. You know, off the big start slope thingy. Ah! <laughs> it's still about six minutes or so to go through that. And the song will loop multiple times throughout. And Smile 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 is also not nine minutes in length. <laughs> So, what what did they do here? Well, they repeat it a lot, basically. And as you can tell by those spikes up in the graph there, you can tell where the main portions are, basically. And speaking of said warm-up that I was talking about earlier, uh, when you can basically tell when you're ready to go over to the next level of sorts, when your legs are feeling a lot looser playing at the level that you were kind of burning at, like your legs are burning with or something like that, you know, they're feeling tingly or yeah, you know, they aren't feeling quite up to speed. So when, when they feel like they're loosened up, then you're probably ready to go up to the next level of stuff. And uh, early on in the tournament, I was going to use 11s to start out with, like, you know, just one 11. I kind of started running out of those. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did run out of those, and I'm onto the 12s to warm up with. Now I'm starting to run out of those, but... <laughs> but that's okay, you know, you can always replay songs if you'd like to, if you need to uh, play SI, like anything to warm up with, because you might get a better score anyway to submit to the tournament score dealio board, so... <laughs> and that's primarily what I was... Uh, planning on talking about here is warm-ups in general, you know, that, that that's, you know, I, I've been talking about different sorts of stamina subjects lately, and yeah, the warm-ups are pretty important, like, if you were to jump into this song that I'm playing right here, right away, you might not be ready for it, I mean, you, your legs might just not be feeling too good, too good, they might feel really stiff, cramped, I was like, eh, I don't know if I feel like finishing this, so... Yeah, 161 BPM just right off the bat? Maybe not, it might not be for everyone. I mean, maybe if it was a shorter song you'd be okay with that, but you know, it all depends on what you're trying to do for the day, I, I guess you could say too, as well. Like, uh, if you're trying to warm up as quickly as possible to get something really hard past while you still have the energy to do it. That's another sort of factor because you might have to push to warm yourself up a little bit quicker than you would normally. <laughs> Relax, BK Gam. Just I know you're trying to conserve your energy there, but you still gotta get a good score. And anyway... <laughs> um, so yeah, so... If, if you're trying to warm up more gradually, you might find that you're running out of energy before you reach those uh, harder songs that you're aiming for as well. So, in, in my case, I found that if I do one song of every difficulty, that seems to be sufficient enough before I get up to the point. 
But at the same time, there are those other times where I'm starting to feel tired and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should skip a difficulty, and yeah. <laughs> like if I'm feeling that my legs are warmed up enough, and then I can be like, okay, maybe I'll go from 13 over to 15, or go from 16 all the way over to 18 like I did on White Laguna Day. So yeah, it all, de it all depends on what you're feeling like. And what you're aiming to do too. So that that is a big part of stamina anything. Because you gotta recognize how your body is feeling, uh, how your technique and stuff like that is as well, to see what you're able to achieve and the like. It just it just see, it seems like some days it's different than others. Like <laughs> maybe because uh, you're more tired some days from playing a bunch of stamina songs another day, like, I mean, you're seeing me do multiple streams of 161s in a row here, and it's like, pretty unrelenting, and even though it's not that difficult for me now, I mean, maybe if I played it too much, it would make my legs tired some other day. So, we gotta kind of plan for those big days of passing big stuff, basically, as well. Uh, and other days, eh, just pass what you can, get those scores up on the board. And uh, another reason why I'm uploading this song, besides talking about the uh, warm-up dealio, do you notice my combo is a little bit on the high side? Yeah! How, how is it that I'm getting so much more consistent at this as I'm going? Well, what I've noticed is that as as I'm warming up more and more, and I'm zeroing in on the uh, faster and faster BPMs that I'm playing, I get more accurate on them. Like, look at this, I'm hitting a 1000 combo and still going. <laughs> so I thought that this song was a perfect example to talk about that as well, because you can see that I was, I was a little sloppy in comparison to this in the earlier portions of the song. So like, what? How did, how did this happen? Shouldn't I be getting more tired? Well, yeah, maybe I am getting more tired, but I'm also getting looser. You know, I'm, as I said, I'm zeroing in on this bad boy, and I'm getting a lot more on the scene, with a lot more fantastics and excellence, which means I'm not getting into that great territory, which could make me get into decent or way off territory by being a slight bit off. Because when you're in the uh, fantastic and excellent territory, if you get a little bit off, you're more likely to hit a great then. You know what I mean? Because the more you the more in sync you are, the easier it is to play the song. <laughs> so as a result of this being like a, a warm-up of sorts, yeah, sadly the combo had to go eventually. But not without a fight. <laughs> But yeah, this is a really, really good song example of warm-ups and how they relate to score performance and like that. Um, it is coming up to the last bits of the stream of this, so I will not be able to get as big of a combo. But I think that big combo that I had there, I was... Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> I mean, this is a level 15 after all. You know, there's a lot of... A lot of stamina to be doing this sort of thing. And that was the end of the main streams. And I have no idea how I managed to do this in my warm up of all things. But look at the score that I've got here. And I'm not even at the end of the song. This is inconceivable! I, I should not be capable of this. <laughs> this is out of character for me. Unless it's just because I've been playing so much lately that I'm getting more of the hang of it. And finishing off a little bit of Rainbow Roads beats, we are done. Whoa, where'd that come from? I mean, that's this score. Holy jeez. <laughs> wow. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Huh.